I found out my parents were getting divorced on my 10th birthday on a family vacation. The divorce crushed my mom. I feel as though my mom lost touch with reality. My mom was not the most involved parent. She didn't really come to very many sporting events as far as I played football and baseball. She didn't really check on grades too much. As a child, I went to about five or six different elementaries. We went to one junior high, moved to a whole different state to high school. Looking back, I do feel as though I lacked stability in my life. My mom definitely was more of a friend than a mother. I felt as though my mom prioritized her husbands over her children. I would say I have witnessed my mom being abused by some of these men. I felt powerless because I was a child. It was pretty terrible for me to witness that. If I confront my mom about the past, she is very uncomfortable speaking about it. She doesn't feel as though our childhood was bad at all. There is a lot of tension between my mom and my sisters. It was definitely a very volatile household. We uh, definitely had quite a few pretty physical fights. I feel as though I'm definitely stuck in the middle and having to play a peacemaker between my mother and my sisters. I am very sick of being in the middle of their issues. Well, Matt is joining us now on Skype. Wendy is with us virtually as well. Matt, you've been listening to what's going on here. Is your mother in denial about this? I think finally it's gotten to the point where she is accepting some of it. Um, I have confronted her about specific issues, and Janet just definitely, definitely kind of acts like confused or like it's a foggy memory. Like, so she definitely so acts like she doesn't recall all the issues. Wendy, you've been listening to the exchange between these two. What do you have to say? I, like Matt, I feel helpless. I, I feel like I've extended myself and I've put myself even now out here to help support her. And it feels very trivialized. It feels very much brushed off. And I think there's a, there's a reason that we're here and I hope that we can move forward and, and she can take some accountability. I admitted and I have tried numerous times to apologize to her and her husband for the wedding. There was no excuse on my part for that meltdown. But there were circumstances that led up to it and of how- Okay, I, hang, hang on, hang, but, let, me, let me stop you right there because this is, this is part of the issue. I'm trying to help you here, okay? Yeah, please. I know I'm interrupting you, but I'm trying to help you here. Because you just said a, a really big buzzword for me. You just said, I, there's no excuse for it. I had a meltdown, but. But means forget what I just said. I'm going to now tell you what I really think. I had a meltdown. There's no excuse for it, but forget that. Now I'm gonna tell you there were extenuating circumstances, there was somebody there I hadn't seen for 15 years, only played a minimal role in the kids' lives, all of a sudden he's center stage, she's ignoring me, paying attention to him, she's with her friends, I'm being marginalized, and so I was the victim, and it got to me, and what can I tell you? That's what you really mean, that's not an apology, that's Well, That's not an apology, that's just saying, you know, I'll, I'll explain this away. I made an ass out of myself, but I'm going to explain it away. True. 